Mickey Mantle sees Isabel Allende holding the head of Herman Hesse as he dreams of Mother Eve. When I'm in Mexico, Mickey Mantle is dying of cancer. Once I burned his baseball cards in a shoebox, a symbolic gesture of leaving. The seas are rough around Cancun, black flags on all the beaches. Every day I go looking for a milagro, miniature figures, body parts, inner organs, animals. They are offered to a saint to commemorate a miracle or to ask the saint's intercession. How do you say, I'm an American and I'm prepared to buy everything you have? I'm going to go swimming with the dolphins. I'm going to go diving into the strange as if words were a species, as if desire were a species, as if pain were a species. I dream about parachutists in bright colored jumpsuits falling through the sky. This is the week when we celebrate dropping the bomb on Hiroshima, the usual parades, shadow floats, balloons filled with tears, helium carried by men and women with melted hands. On the way to Tulum, I dive into a cenote, a hole into an underground river, a lavish mouth, a fantastic eye filled with holy water and forgiveness. Every day I look for a milagro, little metals made of tin or silver or gold, wax or wood or bone. If you have a headache, the milagro will be in the shape of a head. If your heart is hurt, it will be in the shape of a heart. You pin them on a saint and everything is made better. How do you say, I am an American and I will sell you everything you will never need? I am afraid I will not find the appropriate milagro. It is 8.15 a.m. August 6, 1945. A six-year-old boy waits on the platform of the Hiroshima station. He waits for a train that vanishes as it arrives. I dream about parachutists, thousands of them in brilliant yellows, whites, and oranges dropping out of the sky in the field next to the house I grew up in as a child. They are on a secret mission. A woman rubs my hair and says it will cost a certain amount of pesos for the room, a certain amount of pesos for her body. She offers me the cenote, the delicious waters of her skin. A Mexican friend and his wife feed me in a bungalow of sticks and tar paper. They are proud. She is pregnant. I am American. I needed someone else other than my father to be my father. Mickey Mantle stumbles around the bases. The ball will never land. I look for a milagro for Mickey Mantle, something in the shape of lungs or wings. Fifty years ago, we set the sky on fire. Robert Lewis, the co-pilot of the Enola Gay, writes in his journal, My God, what have we done? I look for milagros with melted hands. It is 1961 and I am dying. My eyes don't need me any longer. It is 1995 and the parachutists come and announce I've been dead a long time. I want to give my Mexican friend a milagro the size of a fetus. The sea's shoulders are collapsing under the pinned moon. 150,000 people come out of the sea waving black flags. How do you say I am an American? In Hiroshima, they float brightly colored umbrellas and lanterns on Hiroshima's seven rivers to remember the dead, to remember those who drown trying to cool their burning bodies. Tonight, there will be an aluminum moon pinned to the sky. I won't go swimming with the dolphins. It's 1995, and America will put Mickey Mantle in a shoebox.